Hi, welcome to Code Conversations. We're continuing our conversation with Nate McMaster. Mm -hmm. So you've been showing us some cool MS Build stuff, and previously you showed us how to build your own custom MS Build task. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to show us how to share that task? Yeah. Great. So the final step in getting your awesome task out into the world is using NuGet. OK. And this will be great if you have a lot of common build functionality that you want to share within your company, or if you want to give it to the world on NuGet.org for everybody to use. OK. Sounds fun. Show me how. All right. <laughs> so in a previous video, we created a task that took a folder and produced a zip file. And today, we're going to put that in a NuGet package. So here I have, uh, first of all, let's look at how someone would use this at the end. I have an example website. And the goal is that someone who wants to zip up their published directory on a website mm -hmm. uh, should be able to simply add a package reference to our project we'll call Zipper. And when they call .NET publish on the command line, it will take that folder and make a zip okay. file for them. OK. How we do that, let's go look at the project itself, is we have to compile a task into a NuGet package and add a couple files that wire up that task into MS Build. The first thing we need to do is we need to target .NET Standard 1.3, which is a framework that works with .NET Core. And we also have to target .NET 4.6 at the time to make it work with Visual Studio and the Windows version of MS Build. OK. We also need to add a couple of references to Microsoft.build packages. Once that's all done, uh, we can add a couple files. Uh, if we look at the build folder in this project, it, there are two files. There's a zipper.props and a zipper.targets. Zipper.props and targets will be imported automatically from the project reference by NuGet. OK. And this is where we add the using task statement that we looked at in a previous video, mm -hmm. and also where we wrote a little target that says, after the publish step, take the publish directory and produce a zip file for me. OK. So once I have all that code into my project, I can call .NET pack. First of all, let me get to the right project. There, we produced a package. And let's go over to the example project. First, to install it, .NET restore. And then so we can see the magic happening, .NET publish. And there we go. Ah, you saw there cool. it produced a zip file. If we take a look at that zip file, you'll see everything that was in the published directory is now in our zip <laughs> file. Wow, that's great. Mm -hmm. Cool. OK, so I can, use, I can follow what you did there. I can mm -hmm. create my own tasks, and then I can publish them. I can put multiple tasks or whatever in a NuGet package. And as you said, I can share it. I can use it internally, or I can share it up on NuGet.org or whatever. Yep, exactly. Great. OK. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot.